Hey everybody! Live stream some more Hearts of Iron 4. So I got all the expansions right now, and I'm pretty pumped for this. I let everybody vote on what country they want and what government they want. Um, and it is, uh, it is Communist Canada today. I let everybody vote. Uh, they got to pick what countries to be in the vote. And then I let them pick every country they find interesting. The one with the most votes at 11 votes out of 104 votes total was Canada. And communism won by like fucking triple almost. So we're doing Communist Canada today. Communist Canada will conquer. All right. So uh, let's do Dominion of Canada. You got good old Mackenzie King. You're not lasting long, buddy. We're going communist. Uh, we are in the Great Depression, so our factory and dockyard output is balls, and we have a really high consumer goods factory rate. So basically, most of our factories are not working on what we want them working on. Uh, current ruling party is the Liberal Party. Next election is in the 40s. I believe Mackenzie King wins that one as well. Uh, democratic regime, yet we're democratic by default. And we also have conscription crisis amongst French Canadians, right? Because they feel disconnected from Canada, so our recruitable population factor is way down. We gotta take care of that. Because our manpower is going to be real weak. Now, for extra butt fuckery, we're not going with historical AI focuses, which means the AI is not going to follow what they did in real life perfectly. Which means, um, who knows? France could go communist. Um, maybe France won't join the Allies. Maybe Italy won't join the Axis and will make their own faction. Maybe Czechoslovakia and Yugoslavia will make their own joint country. Uh, who knows what the fuck will happen? Maybe the Soviet Union will go fascist. Maybe Japan will become a democracy early. Um, maybe, uh... Maybe Portugal will conquer Spain. You never know. Really, really unlikely, but it could happen. So we're going Communist Canada today. Uh, we'll be on regular difficulty in Iron Man mode, so we can't cheese the system. We can get achievements and stuff, which is always cool. And, uh, this is gonna be, uh... Commu... Whoop! Communist Canada! Let's do this. Get pumped, everybody. Email Mushroom says, Hi, YouTube. Join us live next time. You can vote and use Tad. Actually, use Tad right now. Spend time, not money. Go, go, go! Yeah, use Tad. Link in the description. Helps out the show. All right, we are officially Democratic Canada, and that will not do. We gotta be commies. Can you make Cuba go commie still? I could influence their vote. Uh, what's what's Cuba right now? Cuba is Democratic. I could make them communist. Maybe Ethiopia will annex Italy. Incredibly unlikely, but I'm not saying it's impossible. I'm sure someone's done it. All right. So Canada's big as fuck, second biggest country in the world, right behind the Soviet Union, which is big as fuck. Just look at that. Look at that shit. Look, I should point with my mouse, not my hand. But look at this shit. Look at the Soviet Union, and then this is like Europe. Soviet Union, Europe. You could fit like 20 Europe's in the Soviet Union. But we're pretty big, bigger than the States. Way less manpower. If you look at our manpower up here, fucking abysmal. Because we're in the Great Depression. We have recruitment issues in Quebec. Which, uh, this is Quebec, for anyone who doesn't know. It's this whole place here. Uh, although it also includes Labrador, doesn't it? Yeah. St. Lawrence. New Brunswick. And then, uh, this is back when, La yeah, Labrador up here, and then we got Newfoundland here. They were both part of the United Kingdom back in these days. Nowadays, they're part of Canada. So... We need to be communists. So, Mackenzie King, you are a pretty cool dude. But fuck you. Communism. So what's our communist support right now? The Liberal Party got a lot of support. We have a decent amount of um, support for the Cooperative Commonwealth Faction, which are monarchists. We have nearly no support for the National Unity Party, which are the fascist party, and the Communist Party of Canada, led by Tim Buck the second. Bam! Historical jokes. Um, we need a national focus. Crown Corporations. Hey! Real life Canada! Crown Corporations! All of them. Uh, modernize army strength and... Okay, so we can pick between strength and Commonwealth ties and um, patrician. Which is, uh, you know, separatist movement. Wouldn't make them like us very much. But we get autonomy progress. Swastika clubs! 
I want to join a swastika club. That sounds fantastic. <laughs> what the fuck is this? Many Canadians are turning to swastika clubs to promote the idea and ideals of fashion fascism. Fascinating. <laughs> what the fuck is a swastika club? Is it where they discuss how cool the swastika looks? What the fuck is that? Support the blue shirts, yeah. Okay, so if we join a separatist movement, we're trying to separate from the Commonwealth, uh, we can pick between permanent joint defense broad, which is, um, is not justifying. Okay, so this is trying to really uh, close our tie, uh, tie up ourselves with the United States. Swastika Club is trying to go communist, you know, work our way closer to Germany. And Burn the Royal Portrait seems to be going towards communism, so it looks like that's where we're going. Yeah, Communist Labor Total War Committee. And then eventually we can, you know, support, uh, supply the Red Army and join the Comintern. Or Canada Unite can create factions. We can make our own Western Canadian faction and, you know, support the World Revolution where we can start making it easier to make other countries communist. Uh, and then, of course, we have the, the ha Halifax Shipyards. We can start going down our Naval Tree, start going down our Air Force Tree. Those are standard... Uh, the east side of this is separatist political movements. Uh, the west side of this is strengthening our ties to the rest of the Commonwealth. Um, over here we have modernized army. This is our infantry and artillery. This is like our ground troop stuff. And then over here it looks to be our industry mostly. Yeah, we got like Crown Corporation, War Bonds. This is a lot of fixing up our Great Depression issues and modernizing the industry of the country, which we really want. It looks like this is gain a research slot, which is really powerful. Okay. We are heavily democratic. It's going to take us a while to go communist, so we need to do that right away. Normally, I would go into industry immediately and try and fix our industrial problems so we can modernize and really supply the troops. But right now, we need to break away from England, and we need communism. So, let me check this text message to make sure that my apartment is not actually on fire. Um... Uh, uh, da, 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 so shit went down. Oh, great. Something's going on, apparently. Uh, uh, give me a second. Fucking streaming autocorrects to streaming. Like, two separate words. Alright. Um, I want to start getting daily autonomy progress. It'll make the United Kingdom not like us as much, but that's what we're working towards. All right. Uh, next, we have research slots available immediately. Basic machine tools, construction, and electronics, uh, electronic mechanical engineer. Those are basically the standard opening things for everybody. And we have a little bit of bonus for Commonwealth research ties. That's nice. Uh, Plays Canada once took over the United States and Mexico. Was a good day. I have actually never tried to do that before. Um, because I have not, I don't think I've played Canada since the expansion that made Canada a lot more interesting. Because Canada used to be bland as fuck. They've got such big manpower issues that they're not really a superpower at this point. Uh, so what are we, we're producing, uh, infantry equipment level one and light tanks. Um... Uh, all in a day, impressive what can- like, oh, cause it was a good day, okay. There we go. Apparently shit went down at work, so I'm just on call to, to help out with Fatima on that. Alright, uh, immediately we need military factories. Uh, we got a real problem. Uh, God, yeah, it's gonna have to be in the southeast cause it's like the only developed place. Got a little bit in British Columbia. Um, but this shit's gonna get conquered really easily, so I don't even give a shit about it. There we go. So we've queued up a few military factories to be built. Uh, we free military factories. We don't have very many, though. What could we make? I want... Yeah, I definitely need artillery. Uh, but then we need to import tungsten. Fuck me. Um, but artillery's really good. It's so much soft attack on artillery. Hmm... Let me know if you have any suggestions, chat, for how I should handle this. I'm, I'm worried about manpower. I don't want to beat as hardcore infantry, because we don't have the manpower for that. Um, insufficient resources. Yeah, it's tungsten. Yeah, and honestly, we're not going to have enough steel either. The only thing that we're passable in is aluminium. 
Um, <laughs> unless the phone call me sternly. Well, if the story ends up being hilarious, then I'll tell all of you guys. Sorry, I know this isn't what you tuned in for. Uh, it's just shit happens sometimes. Unassigned divisions. Oh, right. None of my divisions are in a deployment right now. Um, I'm going to have the Eastern or sorry, the Western Canada block and the Eastern Canada block as separate ones. First of all, though, I need to separate the infantry from the cavalry. The cavalry is mostly just going to be for um, making sure that there's somebody on defensive points and that I have somebody to deal with resistance movements. Um, so that's going to be one army, and then the other one is our infantry. So our infantry, let's give them a commander. None of our commanders are any good except for one guy's kind of a hill fighter. Jesus. I mean, they're, they're decent skill ranks, but they don't have an abilities. Uh... Just use your, de your diplomacy and build up for now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely need to build up arms, though. Alright, so we're putting our extra factories on infantry equipment, which is going to give us a steel problem. Yep. So we need to import steel. Let's import from the United States because it's right next to us. So we don't need convoys for it. Same with tungsten. Yeah, they have tungsten. I hate dedicating two fucking factories to that. Considering we only have one factory building stuff now. In fact, do I even want to not bother with tungsten for now? Ah, maybe not. <laughs> yeah, you are my war advisor, uh, Denjinoda. As always. Free dockyards. Uh, do we have any... We have light cruisers. Are light cruisers still crazy good, or was it heavy cruisers? I, I can never remember if it was light cruisers or heavy cruisers that were crazy good. And then just have, like, one thing of convoys. In fact, the, the convoys can can be built first. And then light cruisers. Wait, how did Communist Canada win? It, uh, that's what people voted for. Oh, so we're going to have to go communism. So we're, we're working our way towards a national focus that'll help with that. And also when we can, we're going to get a communist revolutionary in our government to help uh, increase the daily communist support even faster. Because we are very, very, very... Uh, democratic right now. So we're going to need some serious internal communist support if we want to flip the country. But I think we're ready to get going. So we're going to unpause. Unpause. Speed up the game quite a bit. Um, so our troops here. Whoops. <laughs> that's, that's not a good order. Let's let's front line you. Um, where is not fallback line? Front line. Fuck. Do you have to right click and draw it? Oh right, because it breaks across there. I'm an idiot. It's gotta be this. Yep. There you go. That's your front line. And your front line would be this. Good luck defending that with five uh, divisions. Our divisions are all moving to the border because the US, the U.S. are already on the border with me. Fucking assholes don't trust me. Uh, all right. Speed up to max speed. All right, so things are always a little uneventful early on. So what we're going to do during these early days is look at the other countries and see what they're doing. All right, so United Kingdom, you're doing home defense right now. Uh, home defense. Okay, so they're working on mostly getting ready for and in ma making sure that they're not going to get invaded, which is a pretty sane thing to start with. Paris, what are you working towards? Metropolitan France. I believe that's them working on industry. Germany, are you working on industry? Uh, that's infrastructure in Brandenburg. Okay, yeah, they're working on industry. Uh, Italy is working on Ethiopian war logistics. Okay, so they want to just end their war with Ethiopia fast. Yugoslavia, uh, mass produce air ca uh, aircraft carriers and put no aircraft on them. Good idea. Yeah, ram them! Western focus for Yugoslavia. Okay, so instead of working towards the east and trying to tie up with, um... The Soviet Union, they're, they're looking west for allies. That's good to know. Soviet Union, they're going for the Great Purge immediately. Okay, so they're going to try and take out the Trotskyists early. 
army maneuvering. Interesting, so Romania is going into infantry tech early. Hungary is balancing the budget. Okay, so they're going... Uh, they're going not... Um, they're not going communist. Uh, Austria, what are you doing? Industrial effort? Guess that makes sense. Spain? Industrial effort? Yeah, that doesn't really matter. Sweden, what are you doing? Industrial effort? Everyone's going industrial effort. Okay, yeah, they all want to get their industry all together, which is a good idea. Greece? Army effort, industrial effort for Turkey. All right. These are mostly focused to make sense. What's Poland doing, actually? The four-year plan. Okay. So, yeah, they're also going industry. A lot of people seem to be going industry early. Remember when you defended dig uh, Mandy's dignity? Vaguely. Uh, what? Yeah, what's, uh, what's, uh, Roosevelt doing? Reaffirm Monroe Doctrine. Oh, they're trying to exert their power on Central and South America. Okay. Yeah, what they're going for right now is they're trying to push towards an alliance of the Americas. Reaffirming the Monroe Doctrine. Yeah. Caribbean Sphere, Central America, and the neighbors, and, uh, South America. And then eventually Pax Americana. Yeah. So they're trying to make sure that democracy is the ruling government in the Western world. So we might butt heads with the United States. And that's nerve-wracking. They are also in the Great Depression, though. Which is nice. Yeah, we both suffer from the Great Defe Depression. Uh, home of the free. Yeah, they have very... It's very hard to flip their government from democracy. Okay, so we are now officially getting more points per day towards freedom from the British crown. Um, yeah, Dominion Canada is fully independent. Uh, no, that's not happening yet. So we can go swastika clubs or burn the royal portraits. We're burning the royal portraits. No more monarchs. No more shall we submit to the rule of foreign figureheads in a foreign parliament. Canada will be free and equal. The people will rise. This gives us uh, more points towards autonomy. Grants national spirit of communist ideals. This grants makes our daily democracy support go down and communist support go up. Which is good. That, that's going down and this is going up. Because uh, democracy support is so very strong. So we want that going down as well as communist going up. In 70 days, we will start having our proper communist support. And um, that'll... Swastika clubs! So I know, swastika clubs sound fucking hilarious, right? It's either like a club where they're just like, swastikas are great, guys. Or it's like a club shaped like a swastika, like a mace shaped like a swastika. Like the least practical mace ever to hit people with. The Dominion of Canada seeks immediate patrician. At breakdowns in negotiations with Westminster and in unprecedented 63-hour debate, the Canadian Parliament has overturned the British North America Act, instead ensuring that the Canadian Constitution and laws untouchable by the British Parliament or monarchy. Although not an anti-British movement in its own right, it signals a move away from the Commonwealth policies of the old empire. Well, a natural step to take for any country wanting to take for any country wanting to ensure their future stability, it does nothing to alleviate the already tense state of global politics. They can tough it out alone then, or from sea to sea, dom the dominance of Canada will be free, or the Dominion of Canada will be free. I'm going to say that, even though it's not telling me what the difference is, which it usually would. And to be rigged, the yeah, rigged everybody. So you can't please Cuba. Yeah, Cuba was in third place on the vote. We almost got Japan. Japan was second place on the vote. Um, what are we not getting enough of? Oil? What are we using the oil on? Ships? We're using it on ships? I don't really give a shit. We don't really need that many uh, convoys right now. I wouldn't mind getting some form of navy going. Anyway, you'll notice we're not recruiting anybody because our, ma our manpower is so low. What's our government on that? We're volunteer only? No wonder our fucking manpower is so low. The second we can, we're mass recruiting. So while we're still in the Commonwealth, we should take advantage of some of these sped-up research timers. So we can already make tactical bombers, which I'm not really a fan of. Naval bombers, I'm also not really a fan of. And regular fucking interwar fighters, which are garbage. We can get really fast closed air support. Normally I wouldn't go closed air support this early. But with that kind of a bonus on it, how can I say no? Yeah, that's that's looking to be the most important bonus. Do we already have? Yeah, we already have transport ship researched. Good. 
Yeah, we're taking closed air support. Let's immediately get some decent uh, closed air support planes. Cuba still won, though? It didn't, though. It didn't. I can literally show you the results. Unless you guys, like, flipped it after I already started. Okay, but they did win in the end. Seriously? Did it actually flip after I closed it? I'm gonna check. I'm curious now. Did Cuba win after I flipped it? Uh, what country? Click. Show results. Yeah, you guys flipped it after the timer was done, though. Because it was 11 votes Canada, and it was 8 votes Cuba. There we go. Uh, NDB. Be communist Canada, where the majority is black people with small dicks and women treated like gods. Well, men beat each other up for fun. Uh, and to appease the gods who are also women. Or is that last bit of dream I had? No, I don't think I had a government mandate to be controlled by black people who also have small dicks. It's a bit of a weird dream you had. I think you might want to see a professional about that. Spanish Civil War. Okay, so Spain's in a civil war between uh, the fascist and the communist. Uh, Spain. Now, nationalist Spain almost always wins. That's the fascist one. They nearly always win. Republican Spain, though, I wouldn't mind sending some dudes to help them. I don't think I can send an expeditionary force, though. Yeah. Yeah, must be in the same faction for expeditionary force. I want to send volunteers, though. Yeah, I'm I'm de I'm democratic though, so I can't send uh, I can't send volunteers unless the world tension's way higher. It's a shame. U.S. influence, great. Yeah, because they finished the thing. In our hearts, we'll always be Canadian. Dominion can against U.S. influence. Yeah, they just finished a policy that makes it so they exert more power on us. Okay, so we're done burning the royal portraits now. Um, so we now get communist support and lose democratic support. We can't get the next thing in this, though, until we are ruled by communists. So we're going to have to go into something else. I'm thinking we go into industry because we're still in the Great Depression. Um, we have a French-Canadian problem in recruiting. If we don't have manpower and we don't have war factories, we're going to be no good in a war. We need to fix our industry. Uh, war bonds, we need to be at war for that. Uh, more than 20% world tension if we want defense of Canadian regulations. Which lowers fascism support, weirdly enough, and communism support, so I don't really want that. Um, we need that to get to wartime. Ugh, God. I could, I could handle that. It's a very small amount of fascism loss, I, or uh, communism loss. I could handle that if I need to. So this is immediate political power, which would be really nice, actually. Crown Corporations gets a civilian factory infrastructure and refinery. Also grants C.D. Howe, uh, Howie as the captain of industry, which would be good to have, but the other effects of it I don't really care about. I kind of want to rush towards an extra uh, research slot early. Got to flip to communism fast and to begin drafting. I agree. I actually do. I want to institute a draft because our manpower is bad. So for this, we need National uh, Department of Munitions and Supply, which requires all three of those. Fuck me. Okay, that's going to be a while. Okay. How do we get rid... How do we get rid of the Great Depression? Which national focus gets rid of the Great Depression? Because we need that gone. It must be an industry one. Does anybody know off the top of their heads? There's some good ones in the West here. You have Tidiot? Is that what we're calling using Tad now? Thank you, I appreciate it. Send those hosers to the penalty box. Fuck. Um, I'm thinking the political power. That seems like a really strong uh, play right now is to get that immediate political power to help um, to help get the communist revolution going even faster. National Housing Act, though. I mean, we need both of these for that anyway. That's three building slots and a civilian factory. And right now, we have one free civilian factory. We need a second one. That would double our building speed. We need civilian factories so we can get these military factories built with them. And then a dollar a day, men, which is um, research bonus for industry. That's nice. Um, so we could get a one-time 50% increase to industry uh, research. That's really valuable to me, actually. 
Yeah, I think we need to really focus on the industry down here until we can do other things. So we're taking the political power. The Roswell Souris uh, Commission has determined that the Canadian federal constitution arrangements hinder recovery for the, uh, from the Great Depression. We should equalize the standards of service nationwide. We're, we're working our way towards it, and we are 10 days away from being able to make a political power change. We have basic machining tools, so our production efficiency cap in our military factories has gone up, and we're immediately pushing for concentrated industry level one. We're trying to make the most out of the factories that we have. Fascism playing as well. I feel bad now. It's probably all the people who saw the, the notification late that we switched game. Alright, I really don't like that we're a civilian economy. It fucking sucks balls, but we don't have the world tension or the government to switch it yet. So a lot of our factories are tied up in civilian shit. And I really like going industrial concerns early for industrial research. But honestly, we need the communist revolutionary. And we're not able to switch our conscription law yet. So, it's looking like we're going communist revolution. So, uh, I want CD Howe at some point, right? Oh, it's civilian factories and stuff. Yeah, I don't really care about that. But he's really cheap to get. Uh, but we need a communist revolutionary. There we go. I would like to increase uh, the chance of popular support for a communist uprising. No, I want the government to increase. So the government will now like communism more. So we can see communism is raising at a very high rate now. And um, democracy is slowly dropping as well. Uh, we have no effect right now on fascism and no effect right now on um, on monarchists. Screw the people. War. Exactly. Uh, MDB, you can change conscription law to disarm. Yeah, I could, I could make it so we have even less recruitable nation. Which I don't know why anyone would ever do. Alright, what's everybody else working on? The United States is working on its Air Force, weirdly enough. Considering they, they reformed the Monroe Doctrine, I don't know why they're going Air Force right now and not pushing that more. Um, maybe they figure they don't need, with an Air Force, you don't need as much manpower and they're in the Great Depression still. I'm kind of tempted to go excavation to get more out of the resources that I have. Normally I wouldn't focus on that so early. I kind of want to take re uh, the research into radio though, just because we get a 10% bonus and we're not going to have that forever. 10% um, bonus on mobile infantry, but I don't really need that immediately. We could immediately go for the Matilda light tank. There are a lot of things we could go. I wouldn't mind going for a doctrine early. Would we be too early to go improve machine tools? Uh, yeah, we got a bit of an ahead of time penalty. You know what? Excavation. Let's rely less on foreign resources so we can dedicate more of our factories to domestic production. If you got, uh, if it got to like 20, the video title needs to be all caps cancer YouTube hates fans outrage. Whatever happened to Lewitz? Uh, it kind of sucked. I don't know if it's gotten any better, but, like, it was not worth it. The payouts were garbage. All right, so we have our close air support, Hector vehicles. I'd very much like to uh, build an air force. And I feel like an air force is really important to making the most out of what little we have. Uh, so we, that frees up a slot for us to start working. I kind of want to go into uh, battlefield support so we have an air force doctrine going early. So we can get a lot of that done before a war starts. We've already started fleet and being, which I think I'm a fan of. I kind of like trade as well. Um, we could go an early doctrine, which I definitely want superior firepower doctrine, which is making the most soft attack out of a small population. It's the most bang for your buck one. Oh god, but we start with grand battle plan doctrine. Fuck me. Okay, so Grand Battle Plan Doctrine is basically fighting World War II as if it's World War I. It's all about mass infantry, um... It's all about mass infantry battle plans. It's fun, I like it, but it's not good for a low manpower country. It's good for a high manpower country, and we are not that. Ugh. But it'd be a waste to just go into something else. Fuck me. Alright, we're gonna have to stick with Grand Battle Plan Doctrine, so we're gonna need an infantry and artillery focus. Um, we'll make the most out of what we have here. We already have engineering companies and recon, though, which is good. Let's... I kind of want to go early mechanical computing, honestly, but... 
Ugh. Heavy fighters, though. Heavy fighters are nice. Mmm. Fuck. Yeah, I don't know. Not feeling it. Not feeling it! We are going battlefield support. Alright, we're making it so that our fighters are better, basically. We're trying to get air superiority. And let's go ahead on our build tab here. Closed air support. I'm putting that high on my my list. In fact, boom. We started production on it. Alright, there we go. We now officially have the political power boost from this. We can go spend that. And I can go straight to infrastructure, which I don't care. Infrastructure, I don't care. I want the military. Yeah, it requires both, so I might as well immediately go into Crown Corporations. Alright, we can modify government again right away. Export focus is fine for now. I wouldn't mind a military theorist. Hey, Wolf. Uh, uh, ideological crusader. War industrialist would be really nice early for military factory construction speed. Um, that's tempting. That's really tempting. Yeah, I can't give that up. War industrialist. Spend that pol political power on building our military factories faster. Leadership purge in the Soviet Union. Yeah, they're doing the Great Purge right now. So they're going to have a lot of uh, debuffs for a while. Which is a shame, because they're going to be a fellow communist country. Uh, so we've got an issue with rubber. Is that for our planes, probably? Yeah, they don't have any rubber. Marxist sympathies in government? Hell yeah. Flip into communism. What natural resources do we actually have in this country? Um, not much. Oh, there we go. Uh, we have two fucking oil. Uh, a bunch of aluminium. A little bit of steel. We don't have much, honestly. Okay, Ethiopia has been take, er, taken over by Italy. Give people antidepressants want to get rid of the Great Depression. <laughs> Great solution. Uh, it looks like nationalist Spain's winning. That's a shame. I want a Republican Spain to win because they'd be a fellow... Uh, they, they'd be a pretty good ally. Um, what are you working on? South America? Okay, they're trying to... Uh, they're trying to get South America under their control. France is going with Britain. Okay, so they're they're joining the Allies. Royal Tank Regiment, so they're going into military right now. Germany is Rhineland. They're demilitarizing, or they're remilitarizing Rhineland. Uh, and, uh, okay, this is more Great Purge shit, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, they're still dealing with the Great Purge right now, then. Italy, industrial effort. Uh, Yugoslavia, industrial program. Poland, industrial shit. Okay, Crown Corporation's done. We're going to go into the National Housing Act to get us more building slots to build on, and most importantly, a civilian factory. Uh, what can we afford for 100? Uh, we can afford Captain of Industry at 50. I really don't need that right now. I'm not building any of those, so I'll hold on to those points to spend on something I need more. Okay, Renlin's been remilitarized. They're going industrial effort. Guess the depression. Okay, I need every I need everyone in Canada to do tads. <laughs> yep, that'll fix the economy. Can we take over the Midwest? I want to be in control of Minnesota and the only Minnesota I propose we and only Minnesota I also propose we nuke Wisconsin. Ah. <laughs> uh. All right, our national unity is 90. That's some of the highest in the game. I think the only other one that high is Greece. Greece, I think, has 90. Yeah, it's got 90. Concentrated industry. Nice. Um, we almost have the ahead of time penalty gone for this shit. So I could do the 30-day thing. Ooh, but mechanical computing has a bonus to it. I'm doing it because that's a really expensive tech. Gets us faster research, and it leads to awesome stuff. Man, I'm getting kind of hungry. I don't have any food around me. Maybe I'll eat some jerky. I wouldn't mind eating some jerky. We do have some jerky. Fatima gets a discount on jerky. Works at Starbucks. 
Formation flying, sweet. So fighter detection is up. Fuck it, we get a huge fucking bonus if we were to do strategic destruction, but I don't find that very useful. Dive bombing is nice. Um, let's hold on to 30 days. This I don't know if they ever fixed this, but uh, if you hold on to 30 days, it gets rid of some of the ahead of time bonus. Soldiers desert the communist partisans. Uh, oh, desert two communist partisans. Awesome. Yeah, more communist support daily. Recruitable population goes down, but I'm sure that'll come back after we're communist. There we go. Awesome. If you're playing communist country, you need to play the role. I'm going to annex all of your countries. I mean, you're totally independent. You're just my puppet. National Housing Act has passed. There we go. Modernization. Uh, modernizing Dominion needs to have a standardized regulation on housing across the nation. We must improve the living conditions of all Canadians. All right. We can do the dollar a year man now. Hell yeah. Industry bonus. I really need that, actually. Canadian industry has efficiency issues, but a number of wealthy businessmen have offered their service and advice in return for a token sum. The small... Uh, Country? I don't know how to fuck to pronounce that. Of counselors will move us forward. So that will give us a one time research bonus into industry of 50% discount. That is fucking badass. We all need to talk in a thick Russian accent and be an asshole. Here's the second part down. Fuck, that made me laugh. Come and execute. Cool. Oh my god! Already? Whoa! We flipped control so goddamn fast! It's less than a goddamn year! Oh my god. Yeah, CPC becomes the ruling party, political elections will not be held, gains reign of terror. Where for 730 days we gain political power 10% faster. Holy shit! Whoa! We're now Tim Buck? Wow! We flip the country fucking fast, guys. Holy shit. I wasn't expecting that fast a communist flip. Whoa, we're still part of the Allies, though. I want to leave the Allies. No, I can't yet, because I'm not independent yet. Holy shit, we flip the country. Draft, 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 let's go! Yeah, uh, we, have, we got political power. Uh... Do we not have enough? Uh, we have not completed committed to war yet, right? Because we have a... It's part of our weakness as having... Um, I think it's the conscription crisis. Damn. We could go partial mobilization, though. We need that fucking immediately. That makes it so so many more of our factories are building shit. There we go. We have drastically increased the amount of factories that are building war effort shit. Rather than civilian goods, which do us no good. <laughs> Communism, let the starvation begin! Excavation, thank fucking god, because we have resource issues. That means that ten, we have 10% more efficiency in the resources in our country. Alright, we can start researching this shit. Um, oh shit, this one's been done. I'm a fucking idiot. It's probably been done for a while. How close are we to done on dollar? Uh, not close. Okay. We'll put that into something else. Or I could have that on construction. Uh, it's hard to say. You know what? Uh, how close is our other research? Uh, so far. Okay. Um, fastest thing we can do is this. I feel hungry already. Says Thelgrim. I like that. Alright. Now, we didn't get enough extra resources that we can go dump in something yet. But, you know. We're getting pretty close towards uh, being free, though. So we can break away soon. Got some good ideal jam paper that needs to be properly implemented in the real one. I love that fucking defense of communism. It has an absolute 100% failure rate. And people are like, it just hasn't been done right yet. Anti-common turn pact with uh, Germany. That's pretty normal. Uh, finish the five-year plan. That's pretty normal for Soviet Union. 
The five-year plan gets so much praise. Why? I don't know. Literally, like, fucking six million Russians starved during it. Uh, armament effort. What are you doing, England? Uh, service overseas. I believe that lets them use volunteers easier. Available planes in reserve? Oh, we finally made some planes. Okay. Uh, Yugoslavia. What are you up to? Local militias. Nope. Dollar a day, man. Nice. Okay. It's time to finally get back into communist stuff. Uh, we're not independent yet. God damn it. I want factory input up by 2% is good. Okay. Um, what was it we needed for... Better conscription. Committed to the war. We need to be committed to the war. What's that under? Commit to the war is this. We need to be at war for it. Fuck me. <clears throat> what do we need for this? Defense of uh, Canadian regulations, which requires more than 20% world war tension. And it doesn't matter that we lose a little bit of... Uh, oh, no. We actually don't lose communist support anymore. You just lose support for things that you aren't already. Okay, that's fine. Okay, second we can, we take that, because that leads us towards some really good shit for fixing our problem with not committing to war. <laughs> Send in zombies? I was called to pull all of Canada's eligible men to work through the work in the army, Jesus. Yeah, increase our recruitable po uh, population by a fucking lot. Fuck France. Cut Quebec off from Canada and conquer them. Rename it Smashington. I like the name Smashington. You got points for that. I kind of wish I was in a completely superfluous war just so I could take war bonds, because it's actually pretty nice. <laughs> That'd be nice. Um, I could go army modernization just to get a really cheap land doctrine, but I don't really need that right now. We're in some weird places right now. Canada doesn't have a lot they can pick early. I see... The two infrastructure in northwestern Canada is fucking useless to me, but it leads to better stuff, like a military building, and then getting way, 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 way more oil, which we need. If we're gonna have an air force, we need oil. Mm. Yeah, we're gonna just not get more oil and uh, rubber right now. We'll wait until we get it through that. We can't afford to, to have uh, so many factories producing foreign goods. When we need them right now to build new military factories so that we can build our own armaments. We don't have enough, enough guns for all of our soldiers yet. We barely have an army. We almost have enough political power, though. Send in the moose mounties. If we could ride moose, we'd win every war. Moose derail trains. They're tough sons of bitches. Oh, that's a fucking lame chief of army to have. Um, okay. We already are par partially mobilized, which is as mobilized as we're going to get for a little while. Until we can go war economy, which is real nice. But we needed that partial... Um, Mobilization. It was, wasn't worth waiting, even if it means we spend more. Ooh, total mobilization, though, kills our recruitable population, so I can't go doing that. Mm, okay. Uh, it's not really worth taking industrial concerns anymore, if you ask me. I'm feeling military theorist, so we'll naturally start gaining military experience. Conscript? I know we can't yet, though, until people are committed to the war. We're going to have real problems with that for a while. We could do a huge... Yeah, let's just immediately go construction, too. So we can build shit and repair shit faster. But at least we're making the most of the factories we have. It's not many, but we're trying to make the most of what we have. Really speed up our construction rate. We're building our closed air support without a supply of rubber, so it takes really long to build a plane. That's why we only have 17 made. Make that 18. We are stockpiling artillery, though, which I want to start using. What is our military composition? Shit, that's what our military composition is. Canadian Pacific Railway is done. Ugh. Uh, bits and culprit. Oh, God, that's all the way over there. Fuck, we really need bits and pieces program. And that requires this, which requires... Ugh. 
We need to wait till our fucking tension is up. Okay. There's almost nothing we can do until then. So let's take army modernization. Uh, no template? Yeah. Um, we need support equipment. Somehow we're not making that. There we go. We're not making support equipment. We fucking need it. Handenberg is that disaster. I believe that increases war tension or world tension by like 1%. It's a random event. Military terror composition shit. We shouldn't have uh, trouble finding manpower. That's the problem though, is we have uh we have too many infantry and no artillery. Uh oh, barely any political power. Declare war on Bhutan. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah, they're really gonna fight back. Bhutan's gonna kick my ass. When just so we can be in a war. I wonder if that's that's actually probably a really good strategy, honestly, is declare war on a completely superfluous country uh, entirely so that I could get war bonds early. I might need to, ch to test that sometime. Okay, so we got mechanical computing done way faster than anyone else in the world probably will. Because we rushed the fuck out of that tech. Uh, dive bombing, maybe? Air support efficiency is really good. I also wouldn't mind just getting planes, but really we don't have the industry to support it. So I'm kind of thinking we just start going into our infantry tech. Interwar artillery. Ooh, we actually have a bonus towards that now? We'll get an even bigger bonus soon, though. How long until that? More than 30 days, damn. Alright. Alright. We are going to make our infantry better. Start getting that ahead of time, since all we have is infantry. Make our infantry have better guns. <laughs> Declare war on Andorra. <laughs> Declare war on Cuba! Oh, Nationalist Spain beat Republican Spain. That's usually how it happens. Especially the war ended. We're at 10% war winners. We're looking for 15 as our next main one. Amelia Earhart uh, circumnavigates the globe. Yeah, there's also a random event where she gets lost and dies. Construction complete. Nice. That was quick. Okay, are we less than 30 days away on that? Yes, only 10 days? Okay, we just run the timer on that. Ha! Oh, could forget about Andorra! Uh, I believe Andorra is so fucking small size on the map. I don't even know if it was a country in 1937. Someone needs to go look that up. Someone hit me up on on, on if Andorra was a country at the time, because Andorra should be, like, right here, I think. Uh, but I don't see it, so... Does everybody love that? Does everybody know what that gang's, for, gang's from? Who could forget Andorra? That's from episode one of my Resident Evil 4 playthrough. I'm really happy with how that gang turned out. Okay, um... Nothing else we can go, because we're not independent yet. Um... That's not a manual thing, right? No. I'm so fucking close to independence. How many points do we get a day? Uh, it doesn't say, I don't think. Oh, uh, we need more political power for it, too. We'll need to save up our political power for that. Fuck, I should have saved that ahead of time. Okay, so this basically insta instantly gives us motorized technology, which I want. So we'll take that. I think it lets us get motorized vehicles in, like, 30 days. It was evident in Madurai's Resident Evil playthrough, though. What, that everyone could forget about it? They declared independence from Argona in 1278? Whoa! I guess they're just not in the game because they're so goddamn small. Alright, uh, let's go ahead and take... Whoa, we can take it in 54 days. That's awesome. Max planning up. And our other research will go into... What industry can we do right now? That's way ahead of time. Yeah, let's get excavation too to make more out of our resources. In fact, this will make it so we don't need to import tungsten. Any Actually, no, because we don't naturally get any tungsten. That's right. Yeah, that's a shame. Can't wait until we can get that oil drilling done in Alberta, though. 
then we don't need to rely on exports or imports rather for oil. And I would like to use a lot because I want to have a good navy and air force. Again, to make up for our really lackluster recruitable population. It's a shit thing about Canada though. They have a really, really hard time getting a recruitable population until they're at war. That's such a fast grand battle plan. You can get a bonus force prepared defense. Yeah, it's time to start always investing in that. All right, all we need now is uh, 300 political power and we can declare ourselves free from the Dominion. So it'll be in, in 150 days. They also gained independence from the French Empire in 1814. The more you know. Declare Ohana Molos. Yeah, yeah. One acre country land that doesn't exist for, uh, that won't exist for about 60 years in the Nevada Desert. Yeah. Um... Molossi is quite the country. It's like eight people live there. All right, I'm gonna need to keep an eye on my political, uh, an eye on my political shit here. All right, what's the United States up to? I'm worried about them. Central America. So they're still, they're still mostly working on. Um, on uh, the southern countries. CMP truck done, sweet. Auto assumes the Hungarian crown. Whoa, 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 game. I hate when you do that. Okay, uh, world tension is about to skyrocket because Japan is going to declare war on China soon. Okay, um. Walkie talkie. Yeah, uh, that is good, but. This is really good, too. I am... Okay. What do we need? 15%? We need 20% for defense of Canadian regulations. Fuck me. We need that. We need that right now. Because the war's about to break out, and I don't think it'll hit 20 right away. I think it'll be just under 20. All right. <sighs> Fuck. All right. Canadian Infantry Corps. Polish-Romanian Alliance. Interesting. Romania siding with Poland. Okay. So they're not going independent like they usually do. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tension's going up. 19. Oh, fuck. Is it about to hit 20? Because then I should have just waited. No, it's 19. Okay, it was a good call then. Enough days have passed that that was a good call on my end. We're less than 100 political power away from declaring independence. And then I'm sure Russia will hit us up right away and be like, Hey, common turn, buddy. Chinese United Front forms... Okay, so that's, that's China siding with the People's Republic of China, which is the communist faction. Are we less than 30 days away? No. Okay, we need to spend this on something then. Dive bombing research, probably? Yeah. So we're getting infantry and air force doctrines done right now to make sure we get the most bang for our buck on our troops. No wars have broken out on our end yet. Actually, if I click on this, I believe, can I see every war right now? Current wars. The only war in the entire world right now is Japan and China. Oh, we're with each other. It's China and the People's Republic of China versus Japan, Mankako, and uh, Manchu Ko, which I think are puppets of Japan. But considering they have three divisions and they have seven to 12, it's basically just Japan versus China. People's Republic of China is putting a little bit in. In real life, People's Republic of China only uh, amounted for like 5% of the Chinese troops. They barely participated in the war. They just used the war as an excuse to take over the whole fucking country. Man, I would kill to eat some fucking homemade porridge right now. It was so good this morning. Maybe I'll make some. We can create our own faction, that is true. We can either try and side with the common turn and join Soviet, um, the Soviet Union and their faction, or I could try and make my own country. Now, if I wanted, I could be spending political power on trying to flip other nearby countries to communism. It wouldn't be easy, though. <laughs> Swastika Club Union. I love this game. We're so close to declaring independence, everybody. See, this is the thing. If I were to play this again as Canada, I would definitely, ahead of time, save up the political power for this. Um, like, I wouldn't have taken the military theorist yet, because I really don't need him yet. He's just nice to have right now. I would have waited if I knew. 
Uh, do I want to give them a planning bonus? Not really. In fact, I'm going to fight the United Kingdom before anyone else, so I might want to even build up on the uh, United Kingdom's board. Do they have any resources in there? No. How bad is their logistics? Fucking horrendous. <laughs> oh my god. Ooh, that's rough. Their, uh, their industry, or infrastructure is fucking terrible. Okay, the war tension, or the world tension is still below 20% somehow. Um, we're declaring independence in a few days, so I'm gonna just go nothing on that so we can get it faster, because then we get two political points a day. And I don't really have any reason to take any of that right now. So we're getting two political points a day. Plus 10% for Reina Tower. There we go. We can raise autonomy. Change to free. We have done it. We are now free. We are the Canadian populous or popular state. There we go. We have our own new flag up there. Uh, it still says we're in the alleys, but we're our own country at least. And I am leaving your shitty faction. We've declared independence. We are now officially independent. And I'm sure Soviet Union's gonna come knocking on our door real fast. What happens at 20%? At 20%, we are able to take a national focus towards uh, defense of Canadian regulations. That will make it so people will have a harder time flipping our government, which I really don't care that much about, but most importantly, it leads us towards wartime prices and trade board, which will make it so less resources are going to market and more factories can be in a state. That's really good because it means more of our factories are producing war goods rather than civilian goods. At least this is the Canadian Wheat Board, which modifies the Great Depression to make it less painful significantly, and makes our factories are better. That's a very powerful thing. So we want that as early as we can, but in the meantime, we can finally go to Communist Labor Total War Committee. This will increase our factory output by 2%, which is very valuable to us. It'll also lead to more... Um, more uh, focus tree stuff that we want. Canadian communists are also patriots. In the global war against fascism, we can work with the bourgeoisie liberals to mobilize the entire nation for war. Here we go. We're going for it. Motherfucker. I vote to call the faction turkey fuckers. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna make a I'm gonna make a straw poll, everybody. I'm making a straw poll. Uh what faction? Uh Soviet Union Canadian faction Create poll. Alright. Are we joining up with the Soviet Union? Are we creating our own faction? I'll let that poll run until we have an option. It's 11 p.m. here, and I'm working in the morning, says Mushrooms, but you can't stop watching. It's too damn good. If you if you need to go, I totally understand. Stalin Constitution. He's still working on trying to fucking get his country together. To be fair, it's Russia. They tend to have to focus hardcore early game on just getting their national unity and everything up. We're two years away, though. Actually, more like one year, because it's December. We're about a year away from when the war usually breaks out. So we're getting pretty close to World War II. Now, it might break out sooner, might break out later. You never know. Shit changes. I've seen a breakout in, in uh, 1937, which was very early for World War II to break out. The latest I think I've seen is 1941. All right. Um, so we don't have our research bonus with other people anymore. Uh, so I could get really fast into war artillery, which I'm kind of tempted to do. Even though we don't have artillery yet. Uh, let's do real quick mobile infantry research. So that we can make mobile infantry trucks. We're likely not going to make them very much. But I'd like them. Why would I stop <laughs> Stop watching? Use tab! I like that. Cash shall be, shall be its own faction, it seems. Is that dominating? Oh, that's dominating. 3 to 15. People are not fans of the Soviet Union. So who's in the common turn right now? Um... Common turn is Mongolia, uh, Tanu Tuva, and Soviet Union. So it's pretty much just Mongolia. Tanu Tuva. Uh, they have a division. 
Mongolia has four to six divisions. Okay, it's just the Soviet Union. <laughs> Those other two countries may as well not exist. Um, all right, yeah, we're good to keep going. I noticed the United States is putting more military on our border. I think they're really upset that we flipped to communism. I don't blame them for being a bit paranoid. Oh, wow, United Kingdom actually sent troops to Labrador just to put on our border. They're worried about us. Ah, uh, okay. We need artillery in our divisions. It's time to start upgrading it. It's time to rework our divisions. Okay. If we were to replace two of the divisions of, uh, or two of the squads of infantry in our divisions with, uh, with artillery, What's the main change? We need 72 more uh, or artillery per group. Training time goes up, which is understandable. We'd have more manpower because less people need to be crewing it. And we'd be at negative 30 artillery in storage, which wouldn't take too long. Infantry equipment, we'd have a lot more infantry equipment to spare because we can put down arms on a lot of that. Piercing, defense goes down. Yeah, we have less manpower on the ground, but our soft attack doubles. Soft attack is attack against non-armored targets. So we'd have double the effectiveness against infantry, which is mostly what we'd be fighting. It'd save manpower and greatly increase our damage to infantry. That's what we care about. I also wouldn't mind giving them support artillery. That'd be really nice. But I don't know if we can afford it right now. Oh, it would be too rough. We could add engineering companies, which I wouldn't mind. It helps them in defense mostly, in fortified defense, which we'll need. It would put us at a negative, but not a huge negative. Hmm. I'll do it. Alright. Our manpower just increased by a decent chunk. But it's still quite low. We need a better recruitable population. Here we go. Alright. Uh, war tension is at 17%, so it's actually gone down a little. So we're waiting for the next big thing. Okay, so either United States is at war with Japan, has a war goal against Japan, Japan has a war goal against the United States. Okay, so if those two were to be against each other, uh, then I could go into land forts along the west coast and the east coast. Okay, so that's basically fortifying our shores and then Canadian United, which is we can create factions. Right now, though, we could supply the Red Army. So this is super late game. Right now we can supply the Red Army, uh, which would be, um, we give infantry equipment to the Red Army. They like us way more. Uh, oh, uh, basically every country that's not aligned with uh, communism would really not like us. That leads to jo join Comintern which would immediately get us entry into Comintern, which I don't think we really need its own thing for, and eventually support World Revolution, which increases factory output, can send volunteer forces. Oh, that's way too late in the game for it to be useful. So we're going to have to hold off until we can go defense scheme by the looks of it. Damn, I love Animal Crossing. God, I love Animal Crossing too. I haven't played an Animal Crossing game in so damn long. I'd love to play it on the show. Um... Best game of Donkey Kong you've seen? This? Hell yeah. I'm going bananas for this let's play. Fucking kill me now. <laughs> Research uh, towards support artillery. I wouldn't mind that. Electronics and signal company. Actually, you know what? The electronics bonus I'm going to make good use of. I want walkie-talkie research. Fuck yeah, motherfucker. Man, I love watching people play Tetris. Hey, Tetris on Games Done Quick is incredibly impressive. Wait, did... Oh my god! Uh, France flipped to communism. I don't know how I missed that. The world's gonna get fucking weird. France? I'd like a non-aggression pact. I'd also like one with Stalin. You know, what's every single uh, communist country? Uh, Paraguay, really. 
People's Republic of China. I want a non-aggression pact with you. Okay, those are the ones I care about. What's every fascist country? Dominican Republic, El Salvador, German Reich Nationalist, Spain, Italy, Japan, some fucking provinces in the east, Peru, and Venezuela. Non-aligned, there's a lot of non-aligned. And democratic, there's a lot of democratic. United States is guaranteeing our independence. I was unaware. Yeah, generally, pretty much we have very little ties with any country. Um, yeah, the British fucking hate us. Alright, we have non-aggression pacts with the major communist countries now. Kingdom of Hungary declared war on Austria. Shit, we have another war that just broke out then. Alright, this is, see, this is interesting. Normally by this point in the game, um, uh, Germany would have annexed Austria, but they haven't yet. Is this what they're going for right now? Um, no, not yet. Yeah, they don't have Austria yet. Name the faction, fuck the hashtag, fuck the Nazis. You know what? I could go for a shake right now. I'm gonna make a shake. It'll be filling, because we just got a, a friend of Fatima's. Uh, has, she cut sugar out of her diet, so she gave us a shitload of protein powder. That shit's filling. Maybe that's what I'll have. Think Hungary is going Austria Hungary? Yeah, yeah, they are. Um, all right, we're taking it. We're taking a quick five minute break, everybody. All right, we're back. Let's do this. Okay, so we're in February of 1938. Things are gonna heat up pretty fast. Uh, what were we working on again? Walkie talkie, right? Because we want the um, we want to really up our research game. That was a delicious shake. It tasted like good. Been live for almost four hours. Have I really been live for almost four hours? Holy shit. Wasn't intended to s s Nah. Words. I can't say words. Wasn't intended to stream that long. And to be for the gallon challenge, I'd rather be fucking dead. Alright, Austria's at war with Hungary, right? I wonder who's gonna win that. It looks like they've got reasonably even armies. About the same amount of factories. Actually, Hungary's got a few less civilian ones. Ah, uh, Hungary's got a much bigger air force. I think Hungary's gonna win for that alone. I don't think either of them have allies. Nobu versus Oda Nobunaga. Prepared defense. Nice. Let's go into Grand Assault. I really gotta play that new uh, Rowenza Three Kingdoms. I've just gotta get around to it. Okay, we got the interwar artillery. Not quite ready for the pounder. Um, the 25 pounder. I'd really like... Better industry, but we can't afford that right now. Computing machine, I'd really, 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 really like. But we're waiting on this. Um, hold off. Then we'll get this. Here we go. And we wait. In fact, we're about to hit one. There we go. 150. Uh, is there anything we really need right now? Wouldn't mind off army offense or defense. Hmm. Air superiority, only 3% though. Um. Hmm. I'm actually not sure what I want to go into. Hmm. Could still get the cheap captain of industry, but I really don't feel like I get anything out of that. See ya, Wolf. Compassionate gentleman. Forced Quebec conscription. 
improve relations up. <laughs> I love that. Uh, where's forced Quebec conscription? Cause fuck Quebec. Um, there we go. If I get far enough down, send in the zombies. We can uh, finally get Quebec to fucking cooperate. So this will remove the crisis, whereas this will be and replace the crisis with um, conscription. With conscription mended, which is even more. Why would I ever? Why would I ever force uh, conscription to upset the population when I could then have an increased population factor by compromise? The fuck is the downside of that? What, just to get that one shitty political advisor? Because I'm not interested. Oh, we can find like a war economy. That's what we need. There we go. We're going to be war economy for the rest of the game. Because it gives us the most factories. Walkie talkie research done, thank god. Or walkie talkie national focus, you know. Still wish we were just at 20% war tension or higher already. Um, Guess we keep going this way then. Support artillery. Let's get that research. Into... Where is it? There we go. Really fast computing machine. Oh, cool! Tension just went up like the day after. Good god. Can I switch it now? Good. Nope, can't. Fuck! Come on! We're less than a day in. What a waste of 70 days. That's frustrating. Oh, I got the hiccups a bit because I chugged that down so fast. Silent Workhorse is always good. I don't remember what Silent Workhorse does. Uh, wasn't it Prince of Terror that they recently changed how it works? Is Prince of Terror any good now? Because it used to suck. Isn't it good now if you're conquering? Surprise, surprise that uh, not only has Germany not taken northern Czechoslovakia, but they have not taken... Oh, no. No, never mind. They just took Austria. <laughs> okay. I was wondering what was taking them so long on that. Oh, they're here. They have a treaty with the USSR. That's fucking rare. Okay. Silent Hunter Workhorse is more political points. I don't know if that is always good then. Because think about how many years it would take for them to just pay for themselves. And how much more you probably needed something else by then. Because by the end of the game, I'm swimming at political points. All I care about is getting enough political points for the important early game shit. Yugoslavia claims Bulgaria. Are they going to have a war? Because I'm sure Bulgaria is going to say no to that. Right? They're trying to get an extra research slot. Small arms. Yeah, I'm sure Yugosl I'm sure Bulgaria says no. And uh, Yugoslavia might declare war. Sounds uh, nice. How long till it's out? How long till what's out? Alright, what else do I have? The, still going. I guess I don't really need infantry equipment as fast as I used to, but there's nothing I need need right now because I'm not really recruiting anybody. U.S. protection. U.S. is growing powerful. What? They're enforcing Monroe Doctrine much stricter besides the political influence they already have over our country. The United States officials have now declared that they are prepared to, prepared to intervene in any conflict between American countries. So they can intervene in our wars. Does that mean they're going to join our side if I were to declare war on, say, Ireland? <laughs> What's Ireland been up to? No national focus set. Right, because we're at the 70-day mark. Um, Red Deer training camp. That is good. But we need defense of Canadian regulations, because that leads to a lot of important shit. Pax Americana! This should make America safer. The United States is trying to... You know, political effort, okay. The United States is trying to really push their influence over everybody. What wars are currently going on? It's still just ja Japan versus China.
All right. We're uh, we're in the second half of 1938. We're getting close to World War II. All right, we finally have computing machines. I want decryption right fucking now. That's so useful. And hopefully they'll get us the info we need to start seeing people's paths better. Because right now we can only see what they're currently working on, and we have to guess towards the path. Because so they're demanding Stutenland, which I believe is uh, northeast Czechoslo or northwest Czechoslovakia. So they're going to demand that. They're probably going to take it. I'm guessing the Czech are going to give it up. And that's going to really raise the world tension. Germany demanding more and more land. Get conscripts. Get the drafts. I know we need that, but we can't yet because we don't have committed to the war. We need to be at war for that to happen. Ah, scraping the barrel. I love that one. Uh, we don't really have anything to spend this on, do we? I think I'd rather hold on to my points for now. Let's hold on to it in case something comes up that we can immediately change our conscription laws around. Get the dafts again, <laughs> Brandon. Fuck. Get Brandon! Uh, Brandon's not my war advisor. You're my war advisor. You should be giving better advice. We have an inferior enemy? Holy shit, really? Okay. The fourth international, yeah. How many internationals are gonna be? Need a meat shield. Oh. What's everyone else working on? United Kingdom? Shadow Scheme? Just finished. Okay, Defense of Canadian Regulations. Good, good. Alright. So we can finally go into other shit. Now we don't have to, uh, we don't have... Oh, this. We need war bonds for this. We need to be at war for that. Fuck! I think a lot of Canadian strategy is probably going to war really, really early. Oh, it requires one of the following. So I could get an extra research slot, but I could have used that so much earlier in the game than now. Mine the shield, yeah, that gets us chromium and some iron. That is really good. The resource act is... Recruitable population factor up 5%. That's fucking huge. Wow, okay, these... See, right here is all the good shit. I want the recruitable population right goddamn now. It's time to start recruiting. All right, we can't even afford that. Southern Ontario, and then we'll join the main brigade. We are now officially training up divisions. Um, still good on resources in terms of what we want to import. All right. We now have uh, divisions and training. It's using up all of our fucking manpower, but we need it. And, uh, and those are naval bombers. I really don't give a shit about naval bombers, but we need all of our air support here. Oh, we don't have enough manpower, of course. Well, as soon as we have that done, we're te definitely going to tell our closed air support to get in their planes. Even if it's not great and it's not a whole lot, they don't have fighters to back them up. It's a goddamn something. How much of a fight do you think the UK will put up? I don't know. They might be really busy. Because they don't have France on their side. They don't have... Oh, looks like fucking Czechoslovakia just lost a chunk. They don't have France on their side. Um, they are going to have Germany on their hands. Like, the Allies are looking pretty weak, I gotta say. Like, who's even in the Allies? It's just the Commonwealth. So I get the feeling that uh, Germany is going to do pretty well. So we might be kind of left to do our own thing for a while. Yeah, superiority, mission effectiveness. Yeah, that is really good. Okay, that's already gone. So I want heavy fighters. I want damn good fighter planes. Yeah, they won't have the states on their side by the looks of it. At least not for a while. Russia declared war on the Soviet- What? Whoa! 
Officers revolt in the Soviet Union. Parts of Soviet Soviet high command have risen or revolt against the leadership of Jesus. I've never seen this before. It's unclear exactly what, what caused the uprising, but it does not seem to be a particularly well-planned effort to seize power. The political situation may not be uh, as they project to the outside world. It's a non-aligned coup. Whoa. They're not going to do well. They're going to get their fucking asses kicked, aren't they? Oh, it's not even close. It's a max of 39 divisions versus a max of 272. This new Russia has seven factories. Seven military factories. That's less than Canada. Oh my god, the only thing they have going for them is a decent air force. They're fucking doomed. Yeah, they're not going to last. This is a temporary bump in the road for Russia. Russia, uh, Soviet Union is going to kick their ass. They don't stand a chance in that war. This usually happens in my games. See, I usually play with national focuses, like uh, historical fac focuses turned on. So I don't see a lot of the wacky shit like this. All right, America, what are you doing? Military construction. God, I can't wait for us to finish our focus. Our focus is so good. 5% more recruitable population. It's huge. We fucking needed that the whole game. I would have been training new teams the whole game if not for that. He's too dumb to backstab us. All right, our recruitable population is up a lot. Mind the shield is really valuable to us. I would really like a research slot. Mind the shield. Ah, this is all so good. I really want Canada wheat board. That's fucking powerful. Hmm. The iron is less important right now. So is the research slot. Normally research slots are really powerful, but it's been a while. So we need to work towards the wheat board. And the war is going to break out soon by the looks of it. Shit's heating up. We got the Soviet Civil War and the Japanese-Chinese War. I'll backstab who I want. <laughs> uh, decryption done. Nice. Let's get encryption now. Still not enough to uh, see people's paths. What about yours? You're right next to us. Nope. That's annoying. Oh, now I can. Okay. So now we can see what people actually have researched. Yeah, you've gone pretty heavy into that. Hmm. They've got good air support. They're finally preparing for intervention. This will be very interesting where they go from here. Yeah. Who they uh who they go against? United Kingdom, USSR, Germany, or Japan? Ooh. Yeah. I mean, they could go all of them if they wanted. They're not exclusive, but that's rare. Mm, support Rock Island, yeah. Interesting. They ha oh, right. They need to be actually at war for the war bonds. They're still in the Great Depression then, aren't they? Yep. So are we. Yeah, we're still in the Great Depression. Communist Canada. Canada popular state. In real history, I killed Hitler. I'm basically Jesus, more like Jesus, says Brandon in the chat. Uh, Grand Assault Doctrine is nice. Um, kind of like in the right side of the tree more. Infantry bonus, and that's basically all we have. Um, no, we're actually, we can get some industry going now, because we're so close to that. 
fate of Czechoslovakia. Okay, so Germany's about to demand most of the of the Czech Republic, modern day Czech Republic. Little Entente reaffirm. Really? Huh. Okay. Yugoslavia and the Czechs have made the Little Entente. So they've created a faction right there. You can see this is the faction map of the world. The Allies is just the Commonwealth. And... Oh, right, they have some landing. The Allies is just the Commonwealth. Excluding Canada because we left the Commonwealth. The Axis is just Germany right now. Yeah, just Germany. Nobody else is in it. Uh, we have the Chinese Unified Front, which is China and People's Republic of China. Comintern, which is Soviet Union and like a few tiny, tiny Central Asian states. And then we have the Little Entente, which is Yugoslavia and Czechoslovakia. Oh, man, my back's sore. Uh, what was I waiting on that tech for again? Right, ahead of time bonus. That's right. Ahead of time bonus for my industry. God, we've gotten our shit together decently, but it's gonna be a while. They're looking pretty fucked. I, in my personal file, is Czechoslovakia. I was in a war with Germany in which they had 1 million losses when I hit 9,000 losses. That is how fortified you can make the whole western point here with forts and infantry. It's incredible how much you can industrialize uh, Czechoslovakia if you want to. We no longer get the effect of rain attire. That's fine. It was a very minor effect. We don't really need it anymore anyway. Shows you two bait on your favorite color. Yeah. Via Kingdom of the Three Rules, uh, uh, Kingdom of the Three... Romance of the Three Kingdoms! I'm an idiot. I also didn't pause that in time. Uh, by those rules, yes, Brandon, you did lose, because debates in the game don't make any sense. There we go, advanced machine tools. Actually, I think the other one might have slightly better value. I don't remember. I know that Elder Hill did the math on that once. I'm surprised Poland didn't make its own faction yet. Poland first? Is it finally doing that? Uh... This is treated with Lithuania, Baltic Alliance. Yeah, if it wants to, Poland can make its own faction, but it's doing it so late it's not gonna make it before the war breaks out, and then who knows what happens. World War II could break out any day now. Like, it's the world tension is not actually super high, and the Allies are not strong. What's gonna happen, probably, is the Little Entente is likely going to war with the Axis right now, and that might be how the war starts, actually, is a Czech Czechoslovakian alliance. Oh, wow, they gave it up. They gave the whole check. There's just Slovakia now. Wow. I can't believe they agreed to that despite their alliance. I thought they would have uh, fought. Let me know when the stream is done so we can do some shit. Can do. Sorry, stream's going on a little bit long. I'll end it soon because I know that we got to do stuff together. Canadian wheat board. Fucking finally. Yeah, they gave up. Oh, and they're fascists now too. The Slovakian... Uh, Leftovers are fascist and a puppet of the Axis. Wow. Yeah, it's a subject state. Holy shit, they got butt fucked. Now the only one in the Czech Entente is Yugoslavia. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. Roman reigns of the Three Kingdoms, yes. Due to being the only person to be made, give you a reward of 1,000 gold. Don't spend all in one place. Alright, resources. Uh, what do we lose an iron on here? Boats? I don't care. Oh my god. Communist France. They're going for an extra research slot right now. No, they went defensive focus. Interesting. Yep, 
Encryption done. Sweet. Concentrate in infantry, in industry, not infantry. It looks like a couple of our divisions actually finished finished training. We don't have the fucking manpower for anything else though. We actually have too much infantry equipment. Not enough towed artillery. So let's, uh, let's switch that a little bit. Soviet Union has annexed Russia. Not a fucking surprise. They had that Russia stood no chance in that war against the Soviet Union. Not any chance at all. They were fucked from the beginning. All right, how close are we to, to breaking out? Whoa, Russia lost. Yeah, they their their thirty divisions lost to the two hundred divisions. How many countries have we communized? Uh, none so far. Although France is communist, they had an uprising. It wasn't me who did it though. All right, we're gonna need heavy fighters. Why, do, why have we even been building light tanks all game? We don't even fucking use them. <laughs> there. Yeah, we're making heavy fighters, even though we don't have the rubber or, or the oil for it, so we make basically none. Less than one a month. Rollerball Rocco of the Three Kingdoms. I fucking wish! He was a badass. Alright. We just really increased our industry with that. Now let's mine the shield, because my god, we need iron. Or steel, rather. The shield. Da -na, na -na. Nana, nah. wrestling reference. Second Vienna reward. Raise our eastern claims. Poland joined the Allies. Um, raise our eastern claims. Okay, they are going towards demanding um, Danzig from Poland. Okay, so uh, this is going to get aggressive. So it looks like the war is still going to start by Germany demanding Danzig and Poland having Danzig in it, siding with the Allies. It looks like that's still how this is going to happen, but France isn't going to be on their side. This will be interesting. Uh, I don't think I really need any of this right now, do I? Pretty much just want to hang on to these. For the second I get an opportunity to move to something better. Is there anyone we want to befriend right now? I mean, it's pretty much guaranteed that the Soviet Union's on our side if anything happens. I could start using the points to to boost party popularity. Get someone else to go communist nearby. Communist Mexico? Probably not going to happen. Could get Denmark to flip. Unlikely, though. Not that they'd be any use. Denmark's probably not going to help me here. So the Allies are crippled? Pretty much. They're missing France, which is a pretty big country to be missing. Yeah, they're going to reassert their eastern claims soon. What's Poland working towards? Ideological fanaticism. Uh, which is national unity, which honestly won't help them a ton. Interesting that they went Poland first. Because now that they're in the Allies, they cannot make their own faction, which is what they normally would if they're going this way. They would have gotten way more out of internationalism, considering they're siding with, uh, siding with the United Kingdom. So they actually made a really fucking stupid decision there. And he raises shitting on the Danes. Hey, not my fault. Your army sucks. Yeah, the Allies have the UK and Poland, I think that's it, and the Commonwealth, which is kind of a given. But they don't have France, which is pretty rough. It's safe to say, though, that when the war breaks out, pretty much every democratic nation who gets war declared on them is going to immediately join the Allies. That's pretty much how it happens. Even a lot of non-democratic ones. But what's, what's uh, Saudi Arabia up to? Oh, nothing? That's usually how it goes. Mind the shield done, nice. Yeah, they're just construction efforts and a shitload of military stuff. 
fuck you, Saudi Arabia and your 13 divisions. That's actually more than me. Less factories, though. All right, we actually have free military factories. More artillery. And now that we have mined the shield, we can go to Alberta Coal Towns, which is three civilian factories. That's actually quite good. Kind of don't want to go steal car effort when we really need to send in the zombies to some point. What are if days? Modifies warbands. Okay. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> I don't want warfield economy. Yeah, those, those suck. This whole side is way better. Get Saudi Arabia on the side of the Axis? I can't really do that from my vantage point. Time to finally get another research slot, though. That'll be valuable. And I think this is a good point to end the stream. I know we haven't gotten to war yet, but um, I have to go record with Brandon pretty soon. I got a lot of stuff to do today. Next time we stream this, all the bullshit. It's going to be great. So why did it just tell me that somebody followed 13 hours ago? And is telling me that above the guy who followed four hours ago. I think my list is glitched it a little bit. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. Uh, I'll have a playlist of these streams and whatnot in the description on YouTube. As well as the, the link to the Smashcast TV page. Where I stream this live. So you can come hang out in the chat next time. And uh, before the stream actually. We, uh, before the stream. Or, well, during the stream, before the recording. We voted on what country to play and what government to play. So next time you show up. If we're playing a new country, which we'll, we'll be playing Canada next time, but next time that I start a new country, you can vote by showing up at the free stream. Thank you everybody for watching, and until next time, have a nice day.